This is the class where you could practice yoga in your street clothes. And you can also practice yoga in your yoga clothes or in no clothes. <laughs> so welcome to chair yoga. And let's get going. Bring your hands to your lap. Close your eyes. Begin the process of arrival. Soften your breath and bring your awareness to your breath. Just noticing the gentle rise and fall. And as you do this, begin to become aware of the edges of your body, your boundaries. Where are your edges? Taking gentle breaths and then noticing the division between you and the world. Where do you begin? Notice that whole boundary on all your fingers, your toes, your bum. You can feel your bum on the seat. You can feel the air on your skin. You can feel the clothes on your skin. Your clothes are not a part of you. They're a part of the outside world. And then notice your breath. And your breath is the exception to this rule. Your breath is something that comes in and out of you. When it is outside of you, it's part of the room. And actually a part of others. Not only part of the room, but a part of everyone else. And when you inhale, it becomes a part of you. That's another one of these reasons. I often talk about the breath as the gateway to the nervous system. And this is another one of those reasons because it crosses that boundary of you. There are other things that cross the boundary. Data, information, smells, sounds. But the breath is the most important one because it becomes a part of you. Food is another one. Food is not probably as important as breath, but Breath is in some ways easier to control. And let's practice a little pranayama right now to tone down our nervous system and get into a state of rest and digest, parasympathetic tone. That's almost always our goal. Sometimes we want to rev ourselves up, but usually we want to bring ourselves down. So take two more gentle breaths in and out through your nose. Make them long and gentle. And easy. And now let's begin to practice. Nadi Shodhana. Let's do it with both thumbs. So take both of your thumbs, make the thumbs up sign with both thumbs, curl your fingers into your hands, and then rest your hands gently on your lap again. Take an inhale through your nose. Cover your right nostril. Exhale, inhale through your left. Switch hands, take your time switching. Exhale, inhale through your right nostril. Switching smoothly, but take your time in the switch. It gives you some time on the hold. Exhaling and inhale. And as you go, once you become comfortable with this,
begin to recognize or bring awareness to the breath as it travels up and down the spine. Now we've talked about this quite a lot, whether we want to think about an elevator going down. I think of an elevator coming up on the exhale, like the elevator comes up and dumps the breath out of my body. And then on the inhale, the elevator goes down. Keep switching, keep bringing awareness to the breath. And visualizing where the breath is in your spine. This is called the central channel. It's essentially your spinal cord, part of your central nervous system. And we're bringing attention to it with our awareness. And as we inhale, exhale, the breath moves through the energy centers on the spine. And you don't need to know the names of those energy centers. We've talked quite a bit about Manipura. That's somewhere just above the belly button. That's where I like to think about. I like to think about my breath not getting stuck there, going all the way down to the base of my spine. And all the way out into the room. And now if you can, let go of that image of your spine and take an image of the balloon, of your chest as balloon, your thoracic cavity as balloon. So as you exhale, the balloon gets smaller. As you inhale, it gets bigger. Take your time, lengthen the inhale and the exhale and the hold. Notice if you are clenching your fingers, release them softly, unclench your toes. How soft can you get while still maintaining this exhale, inhale? And also really working into this idea of the balloon growing on the inhale and shrinking on the exhale. So you'll have to kick in those intercostals like we worked yesterday. The closing of the nostril is very gentle. It's almost like a caress. It's really very gentle. It's a way of taking care of yourself as, of, as all yoga is. And now gently place both hands in your lap, turn your palms to the ceiling and breathe in and out through your nose equally and gently. Really pay attention, bring your attention in deep, deep inside your body, inside your nose, inside your nasal passages, your sinuses. If you know anything about the anatomy of your head, just visualize where the air is even passing as it sort of slides past your brain.
So that's your central nervous system. And now let's go out to the peripheral nervous system. Follow the path of your breath as it goes down into your lungs, splits into two sides of your body, goes out into those little tree-like structures, and then goes out to all of the cells of your body. See if you can get a sense of your fingertips and your toe tips being serviced in this way. Maybe they feel a little tingly, maybe wiggle them a little bit just to get a sense of this. And then very calmly and gently keeping this heaviness in your hands, your body, your head, your thoughts, let your eyes gently open. Smile your face a little bit. Extend your legs in front of you and let's go through a nice slow sun salute. Inhale overhead. Exhale, fold forward. And remember, this is your practice, your body. You may think that you need to do what I'm doing to honor me, but that's not what's happening here. Do what you need to do to honor your body. Inhale your right knee up. What I say is just a suggestion, even though I may say it with some authority, authority born of experience. Inhale long spine. If it feels wrong, for your body in general or your body today, don't do it. Exhale, rest, hands on knees, ankles under knees. Inhale, bring your belly button forward. Open your throat. Exhale, belly button back, close your throat, push your chin down to your chest. Inhale, left knee up. Just a bunch of gentle movement on the breath to get us going. Exhale, curl, fold your forehead towards your knee. Inhale, up. And we're just cruising into our forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, big fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, neutral. Beautiful. What can you do for yourself right now? Inhale, overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left knee this time. Inhale it in. Pull it in tight. Exhale, curl. You're making a gift to yourself with every breath. Exhale, neutral pose. Inhale, belly button forward. And that doesn't mean that if you don't wanna do it that you shouldn't do it. Just like your reason for not doing it. Inhale your right knee in. Exhale, curl. Inhale, long spine. Take that big inhale, straighten out your legs and exhale, big forward fold. Make it last the whole exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. The breath is the gateway to the nervous system. Come on up. And exhale, neutral. Let's take a sun salute where we do some lunges. This is my favorite of the four sun salutes. Inhale, overhead. I'll try and talk you through every part of it if you're new. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This is where it gets different. If you want to stay seated, you can do the same thing. Pull your right knee up or turn to the right and come into a big lunge. You can even lift your hand overhead. Exhale, drop down into that lunge. 
you're curling your head in if you're in the chair. Inhale, long spine. Exhale. In this one, I keep my legs apart for neutral pose, but you don't have to. Hands on your knees. Inhale, belly button forward. Spread your legs. Stretching out your thighs and hips. Exhale back. And now, if you're seated, left leg comes in. If you're trying this one, turn to your left, long lunge, hands on the chair. Exhale, drop down. Big inhale. Exhale, everyone's forward folding. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, exhale neutral. Neutral means hands at heart center if you like or hands on your legs, legs are bent. Here we go, other side. I like to extend my legs. Inhale, hands overhead, fingers to touch. Big inhale there, big exhale. Take that whole exhale to dive forward. Inhale, half lift, use your hands on your legs, lengthen the crown of your head away from your body. Exhale, fold. Other side now. So either left knee comes up or turn to the left. Lunge. Exhale, drop down. You can do this up on the chair with your bum cheek. Or drop off and use the chair with your hand. Big inhale. Exhale. Keep your legs apart. Resting pose. Smile. Inhale. Belly button forward. Exhale, belly button back. Even if you're doing the seated one, you may want to keep your legs apart for this one. Okay, I can't remember where we are. <laughs> Inhale, right knee up. Or turn to the right. Big lunge. Exhale, drop down. Big long lunge here. Straight spine if you're seated. Everyone's forward folding. Make it a nice graceful movement to get to the forward fold and then forward fold. Exhale. Don't worry if your movements are shorter or longer than mine. That will come. Exhale, fold. If you wanted to, inhale up. If you have another way you'd like to do sun salutes, please do that. However you want to warm up your body and your fascia. I'm moving to the third variation now. It's off my chair. You can stay in your chair and do either of those last two things we just did. Or come off your chair, face it. Inhale, overhead, fingers to touch. I'm picking a little back bend here. Exhale, forward fold. Either hands come to your chair or step away from your chair, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. You can use your chair. It's really handy here to get your spine parallel to the floor. And then exhale down. Inhale, your right foot either up to your chest or step it back. So if you're standing, step it back into a lunge. But it's kind of a calf stretch. Drop down. Big inhale. Exhale. If you're on the chair, if you're standing on the chair, bring your left foot back and take downward facing dog off the chair. You're using the chair. It's under the palms of your hands. Drop your armpits towards the floor. Beautiful shoulder stretch. If nothing else, you should do this sun salute just for the shoulder stretch. Inhale. Lift your chest. Exhale back. Inhale, right foot forward. And then we're taking a calf stretch on the other side. The daily practice of this has done so much for my calves and my Achilles. Deeply inhale. Exhale. Step it forward and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift using the chair or your legs, exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, neutral. Let's do the other side. Here we go. Inhale, overhead. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, either pull your left knee up if you're seated or step it back, inhale. Long spine, exhale, curl your back if you're seated. Deeply inhale. Exhale, step your foot back to join it, downward facing dog with the chair. Inhale, you can ripple forward here if your chair is sturdy and your shoulders are sturdy. Exhale back. We are moving the left foot here. If we're standing, right knee comes in if you're seated. Deeply inhale, deeply exhale, push into your back heel. Deeply inhale. Exhale, step it forward and forward fold. Big inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And come on up. Exhale, neutral. Let's do one. I'm so involved with my plant here. Let's do one without the chair at all, if you like. If you don't want to, you can do either of the three that we just did. Inhale overhead, arms to touch, fingers to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee either comes up if you're seated or drops back into a big lunge. Exhale, drop down, round your spine if you're seated. Big inhale. Exhale, we're going to our resting pose. Neutral pose in the chair, downward facing dog on the floor. Inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, ripple back. Downward facing dog, bend your knees, pedal your feet. Right foot comes between your hands and lunging on the other side. Then lift your hands off the earth if you like. Drop down on the exhale, one more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Big inhale. Big exhale. Up we go. Neutral pose, mountain pose. Drop your shoulders, steady your feet, steady your breath. Other side, we're almost done. The sun salutes. Inhale overhead. This is the left side. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back with your left or snuggle it up into your chest. Exhale, drop down no matter where you are. Round your spine if you like. Big inhale, long spine. We're coming into our resting pose here. Neutral spine seated. Downward facing dog in the middle of the room. Stretch out those Achilles. Okay, ripple forward no matter where you are. Cow pose if you're seated. Upward facing dog if you're standing. Exhale back. Cat pose if you're seated. Left foot now comes between your arms. Right foot if you're seated, snuggles up. Exhale, drop down. Last time, last chance to extend the back body here. Big inhale, long spine, make space. Exhale, step your foot forward, exhale, forward fold. Big inhale, half lift. Big exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. 
Exhale, neutral. Okay. We're going to stay standing if you like. You can come to seated for this too if you like. We're just going to do, we're not going to do chair pose. We're just going to do some hip circles today. So I'm holding onto my chair and just rotate your hip around. You can swing it through if you want. You can kick it. You can flutter kick it. And that's all we're going to do. We're not even going to do chair pose or tree pose. Just working at that hip joint, getting it juicy and soft because we're going to do some hip stretches in a second. Take as much as you can, as much movement as you can. Now let go of the chair. Stand in the middle of the room. Bring your hands as if you're, you've got them on a counter and just turn from side to side. Hips, ribs, shake it out. Do the twist. Few more breaths here. Long breaths. Beautiful. Okay, walk to the other side of your chair. Holding on to it with the other hand and take your leg rotations, your hip rotations. If you like, you can pull your hip towards your chest. Take a bunch of random movements, warming up your hip joint. It's a big joint. You need to do a lot of movement to warm it up. Take some kicks. Last breath. Beautiful, shake it out. Back to your chair. Let's go straight into our figure four. Okay, so bring your right foot up onto your left leg. And take your time to get into this posture. Your heart might be beating a little bit from the work we just did. Take your time, lengthen your breath. Lengthen. Right foot is on left upper leg. Right foot is flexed, but not rigidly flexed. It's just flexed enough to give it a little body. And then lengthen your spine. And remember, sometimes we do forward folds in three directions. We bend towards the foot, we bend towards the middle of our calf, and we bend towards the knee. We're going to do that today. So let's bend towards the knee. Take a twist towards your knee, face your chest towards your knee, and exhale, bend over. So when you start this, you're gonna realize, well, maybe I wanna move back in my chair a little bit. Take a breath there at your maximum. Come up, and then fold straight down so your chest comes right down to the middle of your calf, kind of in the center. Close your eyes, take a breath there. Come up. And now we're gonna bring our chest towards our ankle, towards our right ankle. Take a breath here. You can feel your hip tugging, speaking to you. Don't go too far, but direct your breath into it. and then come back up. We're going to do a fourth one today. We're gonna to twist a little bit left. Hold onto your leg, hold onto your chair with your left hand, and take a little forward fold as if you had another knee over here. So you're twisting a little bit to the left. You're gonna get a different sensation in your hip. Come back up to center. Now, which one of those was your favorite? Choose your favorite. Flutter kick out your right leg a little bit. Give it a couple of flicks. Place it back on your knee. Choose your favorite. Take an inhale and exhale. Work your way down to your max in your favorite. Hold it for a good long solid breath, maybe two. Gently begin to work your way out, noticing that right hip. When you get up, 
butterfly your right hip gently by pushing on your right knee. Just a tiny movement, it's not much. Just pushing on my knee a little bit and my knee is, is butterflying because my tissue is tight, right? Connective tissue, tons of it around the hip. It'll just butterfly a little tiny bit, doesn't have to be a lot. One more long breath, just getting into that work that we did. Release your legs, shake it out. You can take some leg circles if you like, just like we did at the beginning, but we were standing up. And then place that right leg on the ground. The left leg comes up. And as if we're sitting, I don't know, we're sitting having a conversation. And remember your three directions plus your fourth direction. Take a deep inhale. Make sure you're in the right place in your chair and now go over your left knee. This one might feel a little weird from a balance perspective. Don't fall over. Hold on to your chair. Take a breath. This gets the very outside part of your thigh. Come on back up. Aim your chest at your middle of your calf, the juicy part of your calf. Bring your chest forward. Remember you're flexing your left foot a, foot a little bit to protect your left knee. If you feel any sensation in your left knee during this, cross your legs like you're sitting on a park bench. It's easier on your knee. Come back up. Turn your chest so that it faces your foot and forward fold. Just noticing the difference. We're working our way around the hip joint here. Notice the difference. We usually, if we do a sport, it usually works just one part. I'm a big believer in using all the parts. Come on up. Now we're gonna come into our fourth direction here. So twist a little bit to the right and then bow down a little bit to the right. Use your legs, use your right hand on your chair if you have to. Take a breath. Notice how that feels different in your hips. And then come up. Take this very gently. Shake out your left leg. little flutter kick just in the chair doesn't have to be a lot just enough to get everything moving again bring it back to that same posture choose your favorite fold which was the best one for you lengthen your spine on an inhale exhale take that forward fold go to your max now your max being that place that you go to where you have the maximum benefit but no injury it's called a hormetic stress we want to go to a place where there's hormetic stress stress that builds you up does not tear you down injury just tears you down injury sets you back we do not want injury come up gently that's why everything in yoga is done so slowly and carefully when you're doing it right Okay, butterfly left hip. Just a tiny bit of pressure with your left hand. Very tiny. Juicing up that hip and making it strong and flexible and resistant to injury. That's my big thing, resistant to injury. I play squash and I need to be resistant to injury. <laughs> Last breath. Okay, come back to center, give that a little shake. Come back to center, come to the front of your chair and inhale your arms overhead. Big deep breath and exhale, forward fold. Take a breath here. Resting breath in forward fold, let it all go. Come on up, come back up to neutral. Take your hands inside your knees and walk your knees apart. Stay up on your tiptoes. You might need to pull back on your chair a little bit. Stay up on your tiptoes. Push your knees apart with your palms. Take an inhale, lift your chest to the sky, keep pushing. Take a few breaths.
keep pushing. Push your knees into your hands and your hands into your knees. Last breath. Can you take a forward fold here? Take a fold. Keep your hands on your knees. Take a fold. You may not get super far forward. Don't tumble off your chair. You may need to bring your heels back down to the floor. Take a fold. Come back up to neutral. Bring your knees together. Extend your legs long. And put your right foot over your left foot. So my feet are crossed, but my knees are not crossed. Let's see if this works. You can also do this standing up. It's super effective standing up. We'll see if it works when we're on the chair. Inhale your arms overhead. And exhale, fold. And just see if you feel anything in your hips, anything different than a regular forward fold. I feel something. Take an inhale, exhale. I don't know if I feel it in my hips though. It feels different to me in my lower body, my lower legs. Come on up. And put your left foot over your right. Inhale your arms overhead. And exhale, fold. And remember you can hold onto your chair when you're doing this, if that feels safer. Take a deep breath down here. Just feel a little different. You should be able to feel the web of your fascia, kind of like socks. Come on up. Uncross your feet, shake them out a little bit. Now really bend one knee and put one foot on the floor, but extend the other foot. So I have my left knee bent and my left foot's on the floor. I'm extending my right foot long. Take your body, twist it towards your right leg, your long outstretched leg, and take a fold over that leg. Let's see if we can get some different sensation in the hips now. Take your fold over this one leg. Deepen your breath, take a full breath here. This definitely feels different to me. Come on up. Switch the bend, so bend your right leg, extend your left leg, bring your body to face your left leg, your extended left leg, and then take your forward fold with a bent right knee. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale. Come back up, neutral. Okay, be careful with this one. I think someone hurt themselves on this one. Inhale your arms up, up overhead, interlace your fingers, push your palms to the sky. I'm right on the front of my chair. I'm just gonna walk my hips back to the back of my chair. Your hands high. If you keep your hands high, you get that chest and intercostal stretch. Walk your bum all the way to the back till your bum hits the back of your chair. And then walk your way forward all the way to the edge of your chair, not till you fall off. Walk your way back one last time. This is a whole body exercise. You don't have to have your arms overhead, but it does increase the whole body aspect. Walk to the front, release, shake it out. And now come to the middle of your chair. So you're perched in the middle. The chair ends at your mid thighs underneath, mid hamstrings. And now we're just gonna push one knee forward and then the other knee. So push one knee towards me and then the other knee towards me. This is kind of the same as what we just did, but it's a little gentler. Place your hands on your knees now, spread them, spread your fingers. And take a few more. Last one. Last goddess pose. Spread your legs wide, come to the edge of your chair, bring your fingers to your knees, drop one shoulder towards the opposite ankle. Inhale up, take your time here, exhale, shoulder towards ankle. Of course you won't get there. Your shoulder's not gonna come all the way to your ankle, probably. 
Peggy's mate, Lara's mate. Take a couple more each side. This is goddess pose. This is a variation of goddess pose. Can be very good for your shoulders if you really push on your knee. And then come to center. Find your neutral pose. Crawl your way back onto your chair so you feel the front of your chair at the back of your knee. Place your feet flat and heavy on the floor. And they might be dangling. Mine are dangling a little bit. If they're not dangling, spread your toes. If they are dangling, soften your toes. Slide your shoulders back a little so they're just over top of your hips. Lengthen your spine. Make sure that your jaw is parallel to the floor. So that means your head is not up and your head is not down, but your head is parallel to the floor. Close your eyes. Flip your palms so the back of your hands are on the top of your legs. Soften your fingers. Soften your eyes. Breathe your breath and feel your breath. And with each exhale, get softer. Exhale, soft. Remember we talked yesterday about mantra. You can think to yourself, inhale during the inhale. Exhale during the exhale. Another one I like to use is inhale strong. Exhale soft. As you sit here, parts of your body will begin to tighten up. On the exhale, release them. Little bit of practice in softening. Begin to wake up now, just gently waking up your breath, waking up your eyes. Deepening your breath and feeling the wave-like motion of that breath. And what can you do here with your toes and your fingers that are kind of wave-like? Your chest is already moving in a wave-like manner. Move your toes and fingers in the same way. And then take some wrist circles, ankle circles, neck circles. Coming into a place of movement and awakeness and awareness. Open your eyes. Smile your face open. Drop your shoulders. Thank you so much, everyone. It was so nice to see you today. I did not teach in the park this morning because it's freaking winter outside. But I am teaching tomorrow and Saturday teacher trainings. So I will not be here, but I will see you on Monday.